वेलकम फ्रेंड्स टू माई YouTube चैनल डॉक्टर मदलन श्रीनवास डॉमेटोलॉजी सो टुडे अवर क्वेश्चन इज वॉट इज द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिकल शीरोड अमॉन्ग द फॉलोइंग सो दिस सीमिंगली वन लाइन टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चन could be a potential sequence based question in the future aims mcq so that's the reason why i have put this up so if you are thinking about the answer as clobetasol propionate yes your answer is perfectly correct so basically there are few points which all of you should know that steroids topical steroids are classified into seven classes based upon their potency and please remember the class 1 and class 7 are the most important and the highly expected future questions and these were past mcqs as well class 1 is going to have the most high potent uh, na uh, nature and it is clopetasol propionate and it has greatest efficacy and also please remember the side effects of this drug topical drug are also the highest uh, so i hope you all do remember this famous dialogue with great power comes great responsibility okay so class 7 it is the least potent and the example is hydrocortisone acetate so this is the least potent and few of the names of the topical steroids which all of you should know is class 2 topical steroids beta methasone dipropionate so in this you can catch this point dipropionate class 2 and class 3 is again the same beta methasone but it is valerate okay so class 4 it is triamcinol and acetonide class 5 flucinol and estonate and class 7 it is desonide so these are the various examples for the different different classes of the topical steroids and please remember friends as a general rule potency of ointment based topical preparations is always more than cream based topical preparations so if you like these kind of short short video explanation do subscribe to my youtube channel and do give a like if you uh, like this kind of short short videos watch this video to know all about pityriasis rosea and this video to know all about kobner's phenomenon and its types thank you for watching the video bye bye happy learning